time all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mist so Hi everybody, welcome back to the All Things Good channel. It's Vlogmas, day 19. How are you all? It's Tuesday, it's raining, it's miserable, it's cold. But never mind. Anyway, before any of you say, Polly, what have you done to your face? This here is bruising from the little op I had yesterday. So if you haven't followed me before um, at all on this channel or you haven't been watching Vlogmas or you don't know what happened yesterday, I had a little operation yesterday to remove um, a little polyp thing in my mouth. So I have got some stitches in my gum, but I am feeling okay. It's not as swollen as I expected it to be. I have come out in some bruising, which I've tried to cover up with a little bit of makeup, but you can still see it. But I thought, you know, let's just get all freshened up this morning, put the lipstick on, and hopefully people will notice the lipstick and not the bruising, but it doesn't matter. I'm feeling okay. I've had an incredibly good sleep, which I'm super pleased about and a bit surprised about because it's very, very sore and tight inside, but nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. So painkillers are doing their thing and um, on the whole I'm pretty good so I'm up and about I've got to take Nancy out briefly we're just doing a little shop to Morrison's um, we're not going too far today but I have got myself a nail appointment booked in for this afternoon which I did put in as a sort of maybe I might go and have my nails done again before Christmas and then I realized I was having my little op and I thought mm, that probably won't happen but actually I feel well enough to go and I think I will have them done because that will have them done then for New Year as well. And I don't have to worry about it again. So I'm going to go for something different, although these are quite Christmassy. I am going to go for something different this afternoon. And I should just be sitting down relaxing, having that appointment. So as long as I wrap up warm and keep warm, I think I'm going to be absolutely fine. Thank you to everybody that commented on yesterday's video and your lovely warm wishes of a speedy recovery for me. I really appreciate it and you really made me laugh and cheered me up yesterday afternoon when I was feeling a little bit grotty. And I never lived this one down, something funny happened. When I was showing you yesterday's advent calendar and I said, oh, it's a lovely star. I think I was still a little bit out of it. And a little bit, I think I was on a bit of an adrenaline come down and a, an anaesthetic come down. And I actually don't remember much of yesterday afternoon apart from watching the film. And I just think I was a little bit drowsy, but it wasn't a star at all in the advent calendar. It was a snowflake. In fact, one subscriber really made me laugh because she said, I think I need to go and get my glass, some glasses polished because I'm sure that's, I saw a snowflake and not a star. You did see a snowflake. It was me. I was completely out of it. Anyway, um, let me go and get my advent calendar, talking of which, and we'll see what's in it. There we are, just had to dash upstairs to go and get this. I'd left it in the lounge from yesterday. So there was yesterday's look. Just to reaffirm, that is most definitely a snowflake, Polly. It is. It's beautiful. So that was day 18, day 19. I'm all right, really, I am. I'm recovering quite well, I'm quite quick. Honestly, I am. <laughs> oh, it's not a charm. Okay, it looks like we've got a little necklace. Do you remember the Rudolph necklace? Flipping egg, that feels like ages ago now, right at the start of Vlogmas. So now I might have actually have a, a choice of necklaces to wear on Christmas Day. Let's see if I can get this one right today. Oh yes, it's, it's quite simple. I can get this one right today. Maybe it's me that needs glasses. Well, I do actually for reading. But today we have a silver necklace and it's a lovely little Christmas tree. And that is definitely a Christmas tree. Isn't that sweet? Oh, I really like that. Do you know, I'm tempted to wear that today. I just might cheer myself up. There's nothing like a nice little bit of jewellery or a nice coloured lipstick, is there, to cheer you up? after you felt a bit ugh. I did feel ugh yesterday. And, um, oh, I love that. Actually, yes, I am going to wear that today, I think. So I'm going to go and get myself ready now to nip out and go and get Nancy. Little trip to Morrison's. Invisible Chef is back today. He's been looking after me and he made a fabulous meal um, on Sunday, which I'm going to put in today's video for you because yesterday I couldn't eat. In fact, I can't really eat today either. 
unless it's something really, really soft. But I'm going to, I've had some soft Weetabix in hot milk this morning and um, I'm just gonna have a smoothie or some soup for lunch. But amazing meal that The Invisible Chef did on Sunday, which I'm gonna show you in today's video. And I actually think, well, I think, and he said as well, so we both feel that this is probably the best of the Nigel Slater recipes thus far. We loved it, but that's coming up in a bit. So I'm gonna go and get myself organized, ready to go out. Enjoy today's Vlogmas video. I'll see you in a bit. Let's get into it. I just got back from Morrison's. I actually bought a load more than I thought I would need, <clears throat> but I found these. I liked these. I got some star embossed kitchen towels, some Christmassy kitchen towels. I like those. Um, I've got four of those. I've got quite a bit actually. Um, what with Adam coming home the other day, although he's vanished again for a few days, and um, I've been so busy and then been a bit of a, out of action yesterday. I went to put some washing on this morning and I've got absolutely no washing powder or liquid or pods at all in the house. I reckon that's a first for me. Normally I've got more than enough. So I've had to buy loads with everybody going to be around. Oh, sorry, I just had to answer the phone. Um, but I got some chocolates as well. Let's see. Mm -hmm. These. I thought it looked quite nice. Nestle Dairy Box, the winter collection. Delicious winter assortment of milk chocolate. So I'm sure those will go down well. I was going to say Christmas night, you know, when you're having picky bits and stuff. But there's a huge possibility they might get opened before. No, I'm going to keep those for Christmas night because I've got, um, I bought some Quality Street. So they can go in the little sleigh on the coffee table because that little sleigh has already been emptied about seven or eight times. So one of those will fill it. That can be today and that can be tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so I had to pick up lots of washing stuff because I've got washing coming out my ears and nothing to wash them in. Um, and I've got some fabric conditioner and some cereal and a few little bits and pieces, nothing overly exciting today. But I'm going to put all this away and I'm going to have a smoothie for my lunch and then I'm going out to have my nails done and then I'm coming home for a rest. But to be honest, I feel a lot better than I thought I would. Massively better than I thought I would. You can still, you can see my bruise. It's coming out a bit now. But I'm not as swollen as I thought I would be. I'm not in a lot of pain today. It's there, it's annoying, it's a little bit sore but it's not hugely painful. I feel a bit like I've got a jaw ache and an ulcer. That's the only way I can describe it really, but on the whole, not bad at all. So I'm gonna get myself organized. I'm looking down at a huge pile of washing. That's gotta go on now, first thing, put my shopping away, have a smoothie for lunch, go and get my nails done. Wow, what a busy Vlogmas Day 19 we're having. Are you? So while I'm busy having my nails done, I'm going to leave you with this. I think the Invisible Chef's piece de resistance so far. Again, an adaption from Nigel Slater's Christmas Chronicles. We were going to do pot roast partridge with parsnip and smoked garlic, but could we get partridge anywhere? No. So we did croissant, like little chickens. Basically, it's a delicious pot roast and you will need banana shallots or small onions, parsnips, garlic or smoked garlic, we used black garlic, olive oil, your poussin or your chickens or your goose or partridge or whatever you want to put in it, some stock, some thyme, some juniper berries and some double cream. Again I shall link this down in the description box for you down below but honestly this was absolutely delicious, definitely our favourite so far.
I've had my nails done. So these are my Christmas nails. Oh, you can't really tell. They are an ombre, but they've also got silver glitter. You can't see it, can you? You can't see the glitter. It's because of that sunbeam, a beautiful sunbeam. So I've had my nails done, my Christmassy nails, and do you know what? It's actually gone really cold. It's about five degrees, but I'm a little bit of ahead of schedule. So I'm just going to quickly nip into town and just have a little look round, just see if there's any last few things that might stand out to me, stockingy filler kind of presents. And I've got a really good car parking space and I really don't need to come into town again before Christmas. So I thought I'll take this opportunity while it's still light for another hour or so to have a little look around the town. Yeah, just see if there's anything else I can get. And if not, that's fine. Well, I wasn't out for very long after all, but I did pick up a couple of things. Look, I've got my necklace on my Christmas tree. Just a Christmas tree necklace. Um, I popped into a shop called The Magical Story that we have in Litchfield, and I did make two purchases Christmassy decoration purchases. I know, I know, I've got enough really, but I couldn't resist. And they've got the sale on already. So, anyway, the first thing I got was this, which I thought was very cute, reduced to £4.50 from £8.99. So, we've just got a bit of berries and I suppose it's a eucalyptus -y kind of faux little decoration that I really liked and not sure where it's going to go yet but I really liked it it's just a little extra thing and then I picked up this lovely young man couldn't resist and he was substantially reduced substantially reduced look at him this beautiful nutcracker from the magical story in Litchfield I'll show you the top bit close up look at the colors on him and that sparkle coming off that tree how gorgeous is he he should have been 35.99 he was the last one on the shelf apparently they've sold a lot of these today and I got him for £7.50. I know. £7.50 from £35.99. How gorgeous is he? Now he might go on my radiator cover in the hallway by the eucalyptus <clears throat> because as you know the tree is blue, white and silver so he's not going to match the lounge but I want him where everybody can see him because I think he's just gorgeous. I love that and it's quite a bargain so I couldn't resist, I couldn't resist. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get warm. It's now gone dark, it's five o'clock and I've got a vlog to get up in two hours time. So I better say goodbye, really. Here we go, goodbye to Vlogmas day 19. Oh my goodness, only four more Vlogmas videos to go. And it's Christmas Eve, can you believe it? How quick has this come round? Super, super quick. Anyway, all being well, I shall be with you tomorrow, same time, same place. And until then, stay safe, stay in the boat, keep doing all things good. I'm going to go and edit this video. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.